January 15th, 2008 from New York. Hi, I'm Shelley Palmer. First up, Apple kicks off Macworld this morning in San Francisco. CEO Steve Jobs will present the keynote address and is expected to announce iTunes movie rentals, among other things. Of course, Apple hasn't confirmed any of it. Top of my wish list, a Mac sub notebook. Stay tuned. The FCC announced that 214 bidders have been qualified for the upcoming Spectrum auction. Major bidders, such as Google, are expected to bid on large regional licenses that can be combined to form a nationwide network. The FCC will keep all bidding details secret until the end of the auction. Microsoft and Media Card Holdings have created a web-connected shopping cart capable of scanning products, displaying web-based shopping lists, and serving video ads via a Quantiv. The ads will be contextual, you know, like cereal ads in the cereal aisle. And of course, if they don't work, toddlers can play Halo 3 right from the kitty seats. That's um, just me talking. It's not really true. The WGA has reached an interim deal with Media Rights Capital, the fourth production company to sign with the Guild. The deal specifies residuals for mobile and internet distribution, and in related news, the Grammys may be facing opposition from the WGA as well. It will deny any requests for writer waivers and may consider picketing the February 10th awards ceremony. Yikes, this has got to end. Toshiba has begun slashing prices of HD DVD players, allowing customers to buy the soon-to-be obsolete players for 150 bucks. Only Paramount and Universal are still supporting the HD DVD format, so if you have no intention of watching content from any other company in the entire world, you might want to pick one up. Until next time for Media Bytes, I'm Shelley Palmer. For news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment, visit Media 3.0 with Shelley Palmer at Media3.0.com. That's M-E-D-I-A 3.0.com.